<clears throat> all right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahawar Kakudash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone, and salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. So if you see what's on the screen, it's um, the American Abrams tank. And I'm going to just read a little bit about it, of what it says here. It says, U.S. Abrams tank, the M1 Abrams, entered service in 1980 and serves as the main battle tank of the United States Army and formerly of the United States Marine Corps. The export version is used by the armies of Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Australia, and Iraq, which at this present time, you know, most of those countries are allies of America. Now when we go down, it says Germany and U.S. announced plans to send tanks to Ukraine in major sign to a major sign of support for Kiev. Okay. U.S. to send Ukraine more advanced Abram tanks, but no secret armor. And what this is an act of war of NATO and the United States against Russia. Which when you read the scriptures, okay, the Russians are known as they are known as you know the uh <clears throat> the meats all right gog and magog all right so let's go to habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1 it reads i will stand upon my watch and send me upon the tower and will watch and see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Okay. So back in the ancient world, all right, you had watchmen that would watch, you know, for invasion, for signs of doom. Okay. For things that come to pass against certain cities, against certain kingdoms. All right. And today, you know, we watch for doom, for prophecies to come to pass, you know, via the internet. And I remember growing up, we used to call desktops, all right, desktop computers, you know, the box that holds the motherboard and all the electronics, the circuits. We would call those towers. <laughs> All right. So today, you know, we're watching for these prophecies, man. We're watching, you know, the doom. Things coming to pass, you know, via the internet, through our computers, through the television. You know, we're watching. All right. The prophets are watching. Men of the Lord are watching for signs of the Lord's return. Okay, for signs of these prophecies coming to pass. And World War III is a major prophecy, which I'm gonna get that right now. I believe it's 11 and 14, or, yep. It's Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Which that third woe is talking about World War Three. All right. America, Germany, NATO, supplying Ukraine 
with tanks is meddling in the affairs of what's going on between them and Russia. And that shows that, you know, NATO and America are instigators and enemies of Russia, which is prophetic. Okay, it was set up that way, way before the foundation of the earth. All right, it's prophecy. So going back into Habakkuk chapter 2, and it reads in 2 and 1, And will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashemi Shai, answered me and said, Write the vision, and make it plain upon tables. See, the prophecies were given to certain prophets to declare them, and when they received them, they were visions. Okay. Before the prophets were called prophets, they were called seers. Because they seen the visions. Alright, the Lord gave them visions. You know. To declare unto the people. You know, what's going to happen. Alright. And just like we. You know, we believe. We are the prophets, you know, coming back, you know, in the reincarnation, All right? So he said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, okay? Which the visions were the prophecies and the tables are these books that you're reading, okay? The scriptures, all right? The Holy Bible. Those are those tables, tablets. It says that he may run that readeth it, meaning that he may perform, that he may prophesy, that understands what's being said. Slakia. <clears throat> Slakia, I got a text message. But, um, yeah, that we may perform, that we may you know, prophesy what we are understanding, what we're receiving. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. See, all these prophecies, they're set up to, to be, uh, you know, uh, established, to, uh, to come to pass at certain times, Okay. And what we're seeing go on, you know, is that World War Three is coming to pass. The Karagma, which we call the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, which is a microchip, that's also coming to pass, man. All these visions, all these prophecies are set to come to pass at certain times. Okay. It says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Meaning these, these prophecies, what's written in the Bible, is going to speak for itself. You know, by coming to pass before your present eyes. Okay, in your present life. All right. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. And, you know, that's... Something that we push because it's in the scriptures. A key trait that you must develop and establish is patience. Okay? Because the Lord isn't on our time, man. We're on the Lord's time. Okay, which is nothing but seconds. Alright? We got to develop patience. Okay? You got to wait. We have to wait. We got to be patient. For you, I will shy to return and save us. Okay. There's millions of Israelites that are going to be saved by the Lord. And it's not going to be based upon you. All right. So you got to develop patience. Okay. Though it tarry, it seems like it's taking a long time. 
But really, it's just ma a matter of seconds. All right? It says, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see? Though it tarry, it will surely come. These prophecies are going to be fulfilled. And we're one step closer to the end of Esau, Edom's kingdom, who is the wicked and the so-called white man. All right, World War Three is brewing. World War Three is here. Okay. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Wah and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well. A great millstone. Shalom to the elect.